Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is John Gora. In today's video, we are going to talk about the reason why most of the people are finding it so difficult to fit in in real relationships. And most often, they find themselves being used again and again. You are in a relationship, you found out that it was not working right for you, and you decided that, mm -mm, I have to quit this. Then, you get yourself in the second one. It's not working again. Third one is not working. The fourth one is not working. So what do you do? Before we dive into it, if this is your first time on my YouTube channel, please subscribe and also put the notification bell on because this is a place where I teach people about relationships. I motivate people and also I inspire people to find their purpose and live by it, loving what they do. So let's dive into today's video. So there are two main reasons that I'm going to talk about today that make people find it difficult to fit in in new relationships. And at the end of it all, they find themselves being used and either dumped or they just get tired because they've been used and they have no alternative but to move on with life. So number one, most of the people step into new relationships because they want to prove a point. They're looking back and seeing that, you know, because it, not, it, did, not, because it did not work between the two of us, I want to prove a point to this guy that it was not my mistake but it was his i want just to make him understand that you know i was right and i was the perfect person to be with him or her it happens both sides women do it or men can do it at the same time so you rush yourself into a new relationship because you want to prove a point to your ex that you are the right person for them or even if not right person for them you want them to understand, to feel the pain, which in reality never happens. You see, when you are in a love relationship, you do not have to prove to your ex or to your boyfriend, to your current, how good you are. People will understand you. People will know you from your actions. The actions you do without seeking for approval. You know, things that you do naturally without targeting something, without expecting something from other people, without expecting reactions, without expecting a push or maybe without expecting to make some people feel inferior, makes they correct you. They make you appear natural and they make people understand you for who you are. But the moment you get into a relationship with a mind to prove a point, to that person that you left in the past, you will be concentrating more on the past than the current. So you'll find your time so much in relationship with your ex than your current boyfriend or your girlfriend because you're trying to go back to their Instagram's account. You're trying to see if they're tall, maybe they saw your picture, if they liked it. You're going to, you're putting some photos on your status so that you can see whether the exes watch those pictures or videos you see it's all about trying to prove a point to them what happens the time you're wasting proving a point to your ex this man here is seeing your faults and he's taking this time to consume you and use you and waiting for that right time to dump you. You might also get tired because you will not be seeing the goodness of the current. He is just there for you to use him as an escape bot. So there's nothing that will come from him that you will see is okay, right? So number two, most of the people get into relationship to try to prove to the public that they were right you see, behind proving to your boyfriend, some other people try to prove 
to the public. You want to prove to the friends of your boyfriends. You want to prove perhaps to your parents or the parents of your boyfriend. You want to prove to your colleagues. You want to prove to the people who knew you in the past relationship. You want to prove to them how good you were, but it was just like you got a, a bad guy or a bad woman perhaps in the past that that relationship did not work. So you are trying to prove a point to the public that you see, it wasn't my mistake, it was his. You see, I'm in this new relationship and it is working. What happens is your focus will not be in the new relationship. You forget to put total attention in the relationship and you put it on the people who are not even part of the relationship, people who only give their opinion, which sometimes is not even um, healthy for your relationship. When you invite the public partially into your relationship and you want to use their opinion to guide you through your relationship, you are dead. So avoid these two things by doing the following. Number one, before you start a new relationship, make sure that you're moving on. Make sure that this relationship you are starting is not going to depend on the past relationship. Make sure that you have treated what the problem was before you get into the new thing. Make sure that you are okay with yourself. You are fine with the decisions that you made. You are okay with anything that is going to happen. Even if the people that you used to date before will start new relationships and you will see them like they are succeeding, it will not affect you. That is the time that it is ripe for you to get into a relationship. Number two, stop bringing people into your relationship. Stop listening to people who are outside your relationship. Their opinion don't matter. It is very important. It can help you to figure out where you are in relationship, but it doesn't matter. Your opinion and the opinion of the people you are in a relationship with matters more than what the public say. The public includes your family, your, your friends, your colleagues, or even your parents. You have to be very careful what your parents say about your relationship because sometimes there are some relationships that are destroyed because of the parents. They're destroyed because of colleagues. They're destroyed because of the friends that you keep around these relationships. So until we meet next again, my name is John Gora. I'm a life coach. If this was your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Also push the notification bell on so you can be reminded every time I post videos here. My videos are always about relationship. They're always about motivation and inspirations to keep you moving, finding out your passion and loving what you're doing with your passion. See you and keep smiling.